There's been some drama over pajamas in the Sims community recently, and I acknowledge it is a little ridiculous to make an entire video about one pajama set, but I feel like I should explain what's going on. So basically this week a new sleepwear set came out for the Sims 4, but it didn't come out for everyone? It isn't like normal when little things like this happen and we get an SDX drop and everybody gets access to like a new shirt or something. This particular set is for some reason only available to people who have EA Play and who play on console. So it's like really exclusive and locked to just those people. I guess you wouldn't think of it as being that big of a deal because it's like just some sweatpants and a shirt, but they haven't done this before, like put an item on a certain platform. And they also haven't done this weird like EA Play paywall thing before, but also the existence of this set leaked a few weeks ago. So of course everyone knew it was coming and then thought it was going to be a free base game update. And then it wasn't, which upset people. Unfortunately, I do not have a console or pay for EA Play. So I can't like show you the set in game because I don't have it, but this is the preview image for it. And honestly, it's kind of cute. I like how it's for all ages, although it looks to be just a recolor of that spa day sweatpants set. Like the mesh itself isn't new, but the patterns they're using are new. It does look just like this set from spa day, just with some different patterns, right? Again, I don't actually have it, so I can't like show you all the swatches in game, but this is a preview image from Sims 4 Studio of the different patterns. There seems to be a bit of variety with like these star patterns, the triangles, and then also some solid colors. And then obviously a matching top and bottom and it's available for all ages. So like realistically is, is this that big of a deal? Like it's just a pajama set. It's like one top and bottom. It's a thing that we technically already have at least if you have spa day just not in these particular colors. But I think for some reason this is kind of rubbing me the wrong way. And I think it's because this is just another example of this weird exclusive content stuff they're doing that I don't really agree with. It's like how with the most recent expansion packs they've been doing these like early purchase bonus bonus items. So for example, with the newest pack growing together, if you buy it by April 27th, so like in the first month and a half of the pack being out, you get three extra things. And these are actually really good things. There's a toddler slide, which we only have one of, and it's only in the toddler stuff pack. There's a super cute swing set. It's got like fairy lights. We don't have a lot of swing sets and an extra baby carrier, which we don't actually even have yet. It's coming out in the new pack. And I assume there will be just one in the pack. So if you buy it early, you get a second one. But then if you don't buy it by April 27th, the items are just like gone and you can't ever get them again. They're obviously doing that on purpose to incentivize us to buy the pack early before it goes on sale. And then we have this like not wanting to miss out, get it before it's gone mentality about it. And dare I say they're doing a pretty good job with it because the items they're making special for these are actually really nice. This bike was one of the three cottage living pre-order bonus items and honestly is one of my favorite items in the game. I just think this is so cute and we don't really have that many bikes and certainly not that many cute bikes. So obviously this bike is really appealing to me and probably appealing to a lot of you as well, but you just can't get it anymore. If you weren't playing The Sims in July of 2021 when Cottage Living came out, then too bad, it, it's just gone. So now if I use this in a Sims build and I post it on YouTube, all my comments are like, oh my god, where's that bike from? It's so cute. And then I have to be like, oh yeah, sorry, it's a pre-order bonus item from two years ago and you can just never have it again. Which brings us back to these pajamas, which are not as incentivizing as maybe the other items are. It's still a weird exclusive thing, especially because it's through EA Play. If you're not familiar, EA Play is a subscription service that you can buy to get access to EA games. And listen, I am not an EA Play member. I don't really have any interest in buying it. The only EA game that I play is The Sims, so I'm not like enticed by Mass Effect or, or whatever. I feel like that's probably true of a lot of us folks who play The Sims. I don't know how many of you play things like Battlefield or FIFA. I personally am not like a huge NHL 21 player, so like this isn't really a good deal for me. If you do play a lot of EA games, and obviously you would know <laughs> if that's you, the $5 a month might be a good deal for you. And then you'd get a little bonus sleepwear set, I guess. It's also kind of weird that it's just console, right? Like why is why is it console exclusive? If I paid for EA Play, but I only played Sims on my PC, shouldn't I get access to it on my PC too? And I think the biggest issue I have with this is that it kind of worries me about what to expect with The Sims 5. I've already had this like subscription model fear of The Sims 5 for a while. Ever since they made The Sims 4 base game free to play, I thought that maybe it was like a test for the Sims 5, because a lot of games have this model now where the base game is free to play, but then it's got like subscription things or battle passes or DLC, and that's how they make money. Obviously, The Sims is no stranger to DLC. We are very used to that model. But I think I'm kind of scared The Sims 5 will have some sort of subscription model instead of buying the packs outright. Maybe you'd pay like a fee per month to get access to all of them. And I should clarify first that there is like no confirmation, absolutely no word of this. This is all just from my brain and like my 
worries. And I'm just trying to say that I wouldn't be surprised if they went that route because it seems kind of common these days. And of course I realize that is a very strong conclusion to draw based on a pajama set, but it does just seem like another little sign of that direction. Especially with The Sims 5 talking about like online features and stuff, I really wouldn't be surprised if everybody could play the base game for free, but there was maybe a subscription you could pay to get the DLC content and like online services. They've been talking a lot about multiplayer and a lot of games make you pay extra for multiplayer. Think like paying for Nintendo online or even like buying a Minecraft realm where you can pay to have access to a realm, like a mini server your friends can join. I feel like that realm model is kind of similar to how they're talking about Sims multiplayer being, where you can play in like a small group of your friends. So I don't know. There's really nothing to go off of here. I'm just sort of theorizing and like discussing my worries for the future. And again, I realize this is all a lot to say about a single pajama set that I honestly don't even like that much. It just is another one of those weird exclusive content things that I really don't agree with and honestly really wish they would stop doing. But hey, if you play on console and you happen to be an EA Play member, congratulations, you've got some new sleepwear. And I'm pretty sure that EA Play is included with Xbox Game Pass, which I actually think is a way better deal. There's a lot of games on there and for certain people paying for like a Game Pass monthly as opposed to like buying games outright is a better deal. I think a lot of us are just kind of not really loving all the subscription stuff these days though. Don't you miss just like going to the store and buying a physical game and then you had the whole game and there wasn't like all this DLC battle pass subscription things you had to pay extra for? <sighs> Anyway, well, on that note, I'm probably gonna end the video right here. A lot to say about some pajamas. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I am a little bit embarrassed to admit how much time I've just been talking about pajamas, but it is more than just sleepwear, isn't it though? And if you like this video and if you like The Sims, I make content like this all the time here on my YouTube channel. Obviously, I also just like play the game, but occasionally we sit here and chat about it. So feel free to subscribe and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. They could have at least made some cuter swatches. Like, where are the pastels? Give us the pastels.